Hello everyone, welcome to the end of the internet. Your last stop before that dark little part of the web that nobody talks about. I have a question for all of you. How many of you remember Toonami? Yes, Toonami. That great time of the day when you would rush home from school to see the coolest cartoons ever made. This was the early days of anime and for many of us, this was the only way we got exposed to shows imported from Japan. One of the most popular shows at the time was Dragon Ball Z. And finally, after almost 20 years, we have got not only two new movies, but a new series. Today I'm going to go over one of these movies. Uh, so sit back, enjoy while we take a look at Resurrection F. So where do I begin? The basic setup is that years after the defeat of Frieza, the evil dictator is then brought back to life and seeks revenge on Goku and the rest of the Z fighters. So he comes to Earth and, spoilers, gets his ass kicked. That's pretty much all that happens. Now, I, I'm not going to go into great detail for anybody that hasn't seen the movie, but, I mean, if you haven't seen it, why are you watching this review? Come on. Go out and watch it. Just so you can say you did. Now, I don't think that the movie needed to happen. At all. The plot didn't serve any purpose except to show off the 15th transformation, which wasn't even handled as something special. The last movie introduced us to Super Saiyan God, which was supposed to be the most powerful form ever seen, just like Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan 3 and 2 and... Well, one. Okay. This movie gives us the insanely redundant named upgrade of Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Which is basically just Super Saiyan with blue hair. On a positive, the artwork was fantastic and the fights looked amazing. I especially liked uh, one fight where it was all the Z fighters fighting Frieza's army, and they're all like, we each have to fight, a, only have to fight 750 of them. And, um, but I just felt like this was a filler arc in the show, not some epic return to greatness that the movie was uh, promoted as, and even Battle of Gods is the same thing. It felt like filler, not an actual movie uh, that had substance. Nothing was learned, nothing was gained. Yeah, they had good fights and it was funny at top they funny at times. Uh watching Vegeta try to entertain Barris and gods and then uh, you know Vegeta and Goku's exchange over who gets whose turn it is to fight Frieza that was funny but should it have been a movie? No. And now what do we find out? That the return to greatness of the show, Dragon Ball Super, um, is going to be at least starting off a, a retelling of these two movies. We're not getting a continuation of the story or anything. We're getting another version of how these movies happened. I'm disappointed. I feel ripped off. 
we waited <clears throat> 20 years, 18 years actually, but, and the amount of hype that preceded the release of these movies and the show, the creator uh, return to doing the show, I just feel we have been gypped of something that could have been good. Now maybe after the show gets going and they do their little remakes of the movies, the show will get good. I've heard there's supposed to be a tournament arc after the two movies, which, hey, might be really good. I'm... I don't know, I I didn't really I usually don't like tournaments, but it could be better. Uh and then maybe season two, you know, will get better. Um Of course, this is just my opinion on the movie. Uh let me know what you think in the comments below, and as always, support this channel by liking and subscribing. It's super easy to do, and it helps me figure out what you guys want to see. Also, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook by using the links in the description below. And thanks for watching The End of the Internet, and we will see you next time. Bye.